Hi, okay, I've done some analysis on the OTS shaft and so I've got the force vector inputs here and um, they're balanced by these anchors here. I've got the struts shown in red in compression. This is after some force analysis on some form finding. So the form finding initially is done. You build all your uh, lines and your forces, your goals, settle it all in here, um, do a bit of yeah, that does all the form finding. You can look at the shape analysis and stuff here. You can see the strains. Then you gather all that data, settle it all. I can record it here and here and here. Um, so the that's the, the, the first one was the initial states. I record that. Then I record the form finding. Then from the form finding, you can put that data into a force analysis uh, using K2 engineering. Um, parts and again kangaroo that comes out with a bunch of data which again is saved on this side it's a bit clunky a bit slow to go through that whole process but um yeah it can get a bunch of data out now so that that's wonderful that's great um quite how accurate i've been with uh and and i haven't got the bending moments in, in the rods yet this is all just actual tensions and uh, compressions. It does seem to sort of tie up and look about accurate though. The anchoring forces balance what's uh, going in at the top basically. Uh, you know, there's very little weight in the structure so it should be. What was a bit surprising to me but uh, seems to make sense now is that most of the torque is coming out on these two. Now they happen to be top and bottom at the moment but if you look why this is there's no, there's very little chance to get torque onto these two lines. This line's in tension feeding in, so of course that's your your balance output. This line's in tension, so that's your balance output. There's very little chance to get um, a torque about those two bottom lines. So there's very, you know, very little torque on those. You look in along that axis, those two vectors on the output are the same. You look along the axis of that rod. Yeah, you've got torque on it because the uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise lines are able to impart torque onto that. And you see they run all the way up and round the shaft, all the way up to the top. Uh, you've got that spiral of lines that are tight and the other, the clockwise spiral that's loose. And that's why it's uh, these two that are going to be under, you know, giving all the torque output.